Our next guest this evening is a highly respected role model in the Sikh community, personally endorsed by many Sikh organisations here in Britain that our research team have been speaking with. A man of real compassion and peace. That's right. Together with his team, Jagmeet Singh, uh, who is with Everything's 13, promoting peace, awareness and community cohesion within the Sikh community, and his efforts have not gone unnoticed. One of their latest videos has uh, just got under 350,000 views. And here to tell us all about it is Jagmeet Sasriakal. How are you, sir? Sasriakal, you guys all right? Very we're, well. We're doing very, very well. Thank you for coming. It's yeah, great to have thank you. Thank you very much for having us here. Hope you don't feel kind of intimidated in any no, way, shape, no, or form. No, no, I feel like at home. This is like, Good. Uh, you guys have been lovely. You know, you welcomed me in. It's like brothers. Good. Thank you very well, much. I wish we had like some food for you. We could like sit and no, some, you <laughs> they know. Took me, they took care of me. They some gave me some water. Some vegetarian Some water. Dishes yeah. or something. Yeah. No expense spared. Listen, um... Come on, on a serious point, yeah. um, it's it, you know it's something that we haven't heard in the headlines before about the Sikh community <coughs> being oppressed within Pakistan and and of course this this religious site that's there. Well, you know uh, the Sikh community historically has uh, gone through a lot of oppression, you know, mm. and um, the Sikhs in Pakistan especially it's not very easy for them right now, mm. but they're quite happy there. It's, it's it's two worlds going on in Pakistan right now. One is you have the neighborhoods. You know, so you've got Sikhs living with Muslims, and they're like brothers. They're yeah. like sisters, like families. Mm. So they're really enjoying each other. If the Sikhs didn't want to be in Pakistan, they would have left a long time ago. Yeah. Some want to leave, you know, because you know it is very difficult for them right mm. now. But especially with you know what's going on with the Taliban and you know the, the murders, um, it's up to the Pakistani people to stand with the Sikhs mm. as their brothers. You know, in Pakistan and all over the, um, all over the world, our Sikh Gurdwaras feed. Everybody. Yeah. So, especially, it's just one of uh, the main um, things that Sikhs do is protect and serve humanity. Mm. So, I'm sure there's poor people in Pakistan that go to the Gurdwaras every single day, mm. and the Sikhs are honored to actually serve them. Yeah. And that, that really builds a beautiful community. And you have that here as well. I mean, I know of uh, a, a, a Gurdwara which does exactly that, they are serving food. 24-7, yeah. anybody yeah. from the community is allowed to gather, which is, which is brilliant for, for community cohesion, giving, well, you know, giving back. Maharaji's Kirpa, um, in the UK, we serve about 20,000 tonnes of food every year. That's a lot, mm. isn't it? So, um, you know, a Sikh, the main principles for Sikhi is to give, mm. is to serve. You know, our Guru, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, he told us that, you know, our, our main concern is to chant the name of God, encourage others to chant the name of God, is to work hard, an honest living, don't rip anybody off, and share with others. So that's all about humanity, brotherhood, and love. And um, so these are Sikh principles, but these are human principles. It's also important to state that uh, from recent studies, uh, we understand that the Sikh community gives back or contributes over seven billion pounds to the British economy. It's yeah. pretty immense. I mean, not only for the British economy, because Sikhs are just inherently, we work hard. You can put us anywhere in the world, <coughs> and we're just gonna work very, very hard. Right? I think there's but a lot of truth than, in that, isn't there? Yeah. They, they do have a reputation for being... But more than that, for... not, not only just working hard and making something out of ourselves, our main purpose is to give back to the community. Mm. So some, uh, you also find that as a, as a, a, Sikh, uh, as a group, we are um, one of the highest that actually give back in charity throughout mm. the UK and all through the world. Because yeah. it's just the principles that are inherent in our, uh, in our being. Mm. I think you're, you're echoing, and I think whenever you look at the, when you break down many of the faiths and you look at the essence of the faith, you find that these, these, these principles of charity, of selflessness, of giving are there. You know, within, within our faith, we're told that the best people are the people who give the most or who, yeah. who benefit the community the most. Mm -hmm. And I think often this is missed in, in what is today a very secular world, uh, particularly in the Western world or, or particularly in Western Europe anyway, where religion seems to be something from a, from a, from a bygone time. But actually then really in many respects with austerity and the difficulties, there's never been a better time for, for those values really of giving and sharing mm. I couldn't agree more and those are again very human values so um, if, if a religion is not actually helping you become more compassionate to your fellow man not helping you become more loving more giving mm. then what is the value of that religion mm. so if any religion no matter what it is so Sikh would never try to convert anybody to their religion would encourage them would encourage a Muslim to become the best Muslim and mm. give and love the Christian to do the same. The Sikh's responsibility is to do that. Mm. So if the religion can act as a technology to help you become more compassionate, more giving, and the beautiful thing that us Sikhs know intrinsically is by giving, through sharing, through serving, that act alone makes you compassionate. It does indeed. Mm. So yeah, in yeah. the beginning, you may not have yeah. the compassion, but once you learn to share and 
people get that joy. You do. Yeah. And it's then that's, innocent, that's at the core it? of <clears throat> Islam as well. When people give, there's so much barakah or blessing in what blessing. you do that not only do, is not only the wealth or the charity that you give, it doesn't disappear, but instead you get it back in get multiple... Back. In, in so many different ways. In so many different yeah. ways, maybe not monetarily. But I know something quite interesting happened just recently in Hounslow, yes, which kind of led to this massive, uh, you know, these YouTube views. Yeah, yeah. Tell us what happened. Well, um, we, we do something called street pachar these days. Mm. You know, us as a Sikh community, we haven't been very vocal in <coughs> who we are, what we do. We just normally go about our business and are really good people and mm. we give back to the community. But we haven't done a great job of telling people who we actually are, what our history is. Mm. So that's something that we're trying to address through our charity, yeah. um, Everything's 13, Bases of Sikhi. So we go out there now and do something called street pachar. And that yeah. is literally going out in the street and talking to people, engaging with the British public, whoever they are, be they Christian, Muslim, or whatever it is, and actually saying, hey, look, do you know about Sikhs? Yeah. Do you know okay, where well, they come from? Let's take a look at this video, actually, of, of this, of yeah. what you're doing exactly on Everything that, yeah. 13. Sure. Take a look no, at this. You're not English, no? Sir, if I tell you one thing, right? You're not if, English. If I saw you on the street and anything happened to you, I'd give my life for you. That's why I carry this weapon. If I saw anything happen to you, I'd, if there's 10 people attacking you, I'd give my life for you. That's why Sikhs carry this, well, to protect I'm, I'm, others, sir. Wow, I tell you what, controversial stuff there. And those two police officers standing by as well? Yeah, I mean, the police officers were lovely. They yeah. were actually, you know, um, telling the gentleman about Sikh rights and well, what it is. And the gentleman, you know, this video really highlights mm. the need for Sikhs to be out there in the community raising awareness of who we are. I tell you, I've got an interesting question for you, actually, yes, going off script a little bit. <clears throat> There's been a massive rise in Islamophobia. We know mm -hmm. that in the last few years. I imagine that a percentage of the Sikh population gets swept up in that mm -hmm. because for many people from the outside, they don't know the difference between a guy with a turban and a beard who's a Muslim and a guy with a turban and a beard who's a Sikh. Yeah. And you guys must be feeling the effect of that as well. Well, I think we feel the, the bulk of the effect because your ordinary Muslim that's a householder is not going to wear a turban and a beard. Yeah, not a, exactly. Especially not a long beard like mm, yeah. myself, a, a uncut beard yeah, yeah. and a turban. So what you have is, with Islamophobia, you have these terrorists committing these atrocities yeah. in the name of Islam, yeah. which does not represent most Muslims. No, that's right. It actually, most Muslims will condemn them. But the average person at home is going to see this happening on TV, see a gentleman like myself yeah. with a distar, with the dotty, yeah. and they're going to say, oh, that's the, that's a terrorist. That's one of those terrorists that we've so seen, yeah. So one of our main goals is to be out there in the public and say, actually, look, don't mess with the Muslims, right? Mm. The Muslims are not doing these. These extremists are doing these. If anything, we should all fight the extremists. And yeah, number absolutely. two, we are Sikh. We are not Muslim. This is what we believe. Mm. And, you know, the righteous Muslim, that is our brother. Mm. You know, so everybody yeah. that is chanting the name of God, mm. giving back to humanity, taking care of each other. Well, we've got another clip of exactly that. You talk about the interaction between Sikhs and Muslims. Have a look at this. Okay. <laughs> if your name for God is Allah, yeah. right? Yeah. So we believe you wake up in the early morning, you wake up whenever, all through the day, you think of Allah. Yeah. You call Allah. Yeah. Allah, 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 yeah. right? And then that's your truth. And you develop your relationship with yeah. God. How, like if you're Christian, it could be Jesus, it could be Jehovah, whoever it be. Yeah. So we, we don't think that the, uh, the truth is just with us. Interesting, interesting. So, I mean, the street, I mean, I've been out on the streets before talking about Islam to people. It's pretty interesting that some of the conversations that come up, aren't there? I'm always surprised how willing people are actually to engage. I mean, you always get people who are quite bigoted and who just have their opinion, they don't want to talk. But I think the majority of people are quite open, aren't they? Yeah, everybody does want to, you know, we, we do live in a multicultural society, so everybody wants to know about each other. And the thing is, uh, sometimes going through our daily lives, we're so closed off mm. that we don't have the opportunity to stop and have that conversation. And those conversations are very needed. So like that gentleman that we saw there, he actually stopped with his wife, had his kid there, and we had a really beautiful conversation. And he brought up um, some things about like um, conflicts between religions. Mm. You know, he said, look, with the Sikh community, with the Islamic community, Muslim community, what's going on? I said, look, there is no conflict with religions. Mm -hmm. It's a conflict between oppressors. Mm. Back in the day, there was oppressors. The Mughals used to oppress. So it's up to the Sikhs to stand up against the oppressors, and the true Muslim would fight against the, with the Sikhs against the oppressors. I think, so I once think... we open the dialogue and see how similar that we really are, yeah. and if our values are just that, that the values of, of inclusiveness and of honesty and of caring about humanity, then we can see that the similarities are there and move forward together. And when you talk about oppression, I think we always have to stand on the side of justice. Yeah. Justice is justice, truth is truth, and you must not treat people unfairly, no matter what your belief system, always treat people So I think well. what uh, beautiful uh, 
opportunity this is for the Islamic people in Pakistan right now to stand firm with the Sikhs. Mm. The Sikhs have always been there. Like, they could have okay. left Pakistan a long time, but that land to us is holy. Wow. It is pure. Our, it, our origins was from 